This is a question from agriculture portion of GS paper 3 of mains 2022 examination. This question has two parts. What is integrated farming system? How is it helpful to small and marginal farmers in India? We will first answer the first part that is what is integrated farming system? Integrated farming system combines different farming components like crop cultivation, poultry, dairy farming, fisheries, apiculture, apiculture means beekeeping, sericulture which means rearing silkworms, mushroom cultivation etc. In integrated farming, the waste or output of one farming activity can be integrated as input for other farming activity. For example, waste of dairy like cow dung can be used in preparing compost that can be used as manure in agriculture crop fields. Integrated farming makes the best use of available land and labor force. Now coming to second part of the question, how can integrated farming be helpful to small and marginal farmers of India? See, 82% of farmers of India are small and marginal. According to a survey, 50.2% of small farmers are in debt. Due to small land holdings, their income is very low. In case of crop failure, crisis becomes more serious and some farmers even commit suicide. Integrated farming system can be of great help to small and marginal farmers in increasing their income. Integrated farming can provide employment and income to farmers around the year through production of crops, milk, mushrooms, fruits, vegetables, silk cocoons, etc. Integrated farming diversify the income source. In case of crop failure due to bad monsoon or other cause, the farmers will still have other source of income. They will not fall in debt trap. Integrated farming reduces input cost as waste or output of one farm activity can act as input in other farm activity. For example, crop residue or crop stubble can be used as fodder for dairy animals. Cow dung can be used for making manure for crop fields. Integrated farming can increase crop yield too. For example, honeybee rearing that is apiculture increases insect mediated pollination in vegetable and fruit crops. This increases crop yield. Input requirement can be met from same agriculture land. For example, green fodder for dairy animals can be grown as intercropping or border cropping. Mulberry reefs can, can be obtained by growing mulberry trees at border of fields. Due to negligible input cost, the profit is high. In this way, integrated farming can increase the income of small and marginal farmers. More income can increase the living standards, health and education of small and marginal farmers of India.